the new year has started and while most people are feeling excited you are feeling overwhelmed but why like you're like beating yourself up because now you know you feel overwhelmed like where do i even start where do i even begin but then you stack on shame and guilt because you feel that way because you're like i shouldn't feel this way i should feel excited about the opportunities that are coming another year in order to make sure that things are not like the last year when in the back of your mind you know the fact is this for the last maybe year two years three years five years ten years it has been the same every time or worse and you can't figure out why why is it that i keep playing out the same exact loop every single year and then you start to go through why you start to look at different circumstances that happen well i had a family member die this year i lost my job that year well these different things that happen and don't get me wrong those are terrible experiences to go through but they're all external that's the real truth here <laughs> so you see as a veteran that's what we do we we don't like to sugarcoat shit right the truth is it's all external stuff and the truth is no matter how sad something is that happened to you you choose how to move forward each time and every single year before you have made the same exact choice that led you where you're at right now if this post kind of triggers you a bit listen to it it's important to listen to this to the end because i was the exact same i kept saying oh this is a new year i'm gonna try this i'm gonna do that and it's gonna be completely different from before until i turn around and it's exactly the same again why what is it that happened that led me to realize that i'm going into this loop every single year getting the same results i looked inside and i took survey of how i felt and you see that's the common denominator between every experience that you have it's how you feel it determines what choices you make let me give you an example when someone cuts you off in traffic if you're feeling angry you're going to go into the place of how dare this bastard cut me off what is he thinking how inconsiderate i need to correct this person or something like that whereas on the other side if you're feeling a lot of neutrality maybe or peace you're like it doesn't really matter if this dude cut me off at least i didn't get into an accident and i can still continue to flow with traffic and move on my way and then if you're even at a place that's higher like love you're kind of thinking like maybe this dude is having a rough day or a tough situation you know we all have these moments where we do make choices to cut somebody off like that i did that before too you approach it from that place you see anger love but each one has a different experience if you're spending your time in those emotions over here sadness anger all of that guess what you get the same exact shit you've been dealing with every single year so now that we know we want to be over here feeling love feeling all these good emotions how do you do that how indeed is the answer to this you have to be more aware of your emotions day to day be more aware of how you feel and be more aware of what's manipulating how you feel one way you can do that is to filter your social media filter your news filter what you watch on tv filter everything that you are in taking into this braid because when you start doing that you start to be more aware of what's going on inside of here inside of here but all those other things are designed to distract you distract you from paying attention to that for the exact same reason why you want to get them out of there they want to control you but you want control you want to be able to have more control so if you want to start this year off right if you want to get rid of the overwhelm if you want to move forward differently if you want to start to feel differently expose yourself to different things that are more positive and get the hell away from the negative shit life is too short 
And if it's important stuff that you need to know, someone's gonna tell you. A family member's gonna call you. There'll be an alert or a siren, you know, something will alert you to it. You don't have to worry. Filter your feed.